Let us leave the confusion and all the illusion behind. Welcome back to A Morning, joined once again by uh, fashion stylist Erica Ward, bringing us the madman look. Oh. And uh, it, even the music coming out of commercial break leads us right into this style. Oh my gosh, it is just, this collection is beyond. It is just unbelievable. Janie Bryant is a genius, a genius, and she did such a great job. Like I said before, it's almost 65 pieces of apparel and accessories. You can get an entire look, or you can just do the jewelry like I did here with the uh, beautiful pearls. Uh, you can do, I mean, like shoes, uh, money clips, skinny ties. It's an entire collection. Fedoras, well, which you know so, I love. So you love those, absolutely. <laughs> you know I love. <laughs> and there's something innocent with this look, and yet there's something sexy, there's something, there's a little added fun to it without really going overboard. Exactly, and that's the whole style of the Mad Men series. It's this, it's this effortlessly chic look, but it's still uh, like a dressed up American sportswear. Okay, let's take a look at our models. Perfect. So first up, we have this amazing, amazing leopard print trench coat. I adore this. She is a genius for creating this beautiful design. I'm seriously buying it. I love, like, I love it, love it, love it. This is such a great staple for every woman's wardrobe. We talked about that before with trench coats, but this one is done in such a really cool and unique way, and I just think it's such a beautiful piece, really lightweight, so it's great for this time of year and into the fall. And then underneath we have this stunning, stunning burgundy colored dress. This can be worn, of course, to work if you have one of those bigger meetings, and then of course into the evening for drinks with friends. And here's the 1960s look that I adore for this season is this beautiful scarf around the neck. Mm -hmm. I think this is such a cool look, and I don't think we really do this anymore, and I'd love to bring it back because it's so much fun. This is done in a great watercolor print. Now, is there lessons on how to tie a scarf like this? Yes. So this one I did in a double knot, and you just got to make sure that one of the pieces is coming down in front and the other one's coming behind because then it lo looks great kind of either if you're front on or behind as well. If you do two in front, it can sometimes be too much, especially if it's on a more petite person. Great. Awesome Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have this beautiful, beautiful look that I'm sure Joan would wear on Mad Men. Uh, this is a houndstooth uh, printed dress in a navy and black print. It's kind of done, as you can see, in two different tones. So the top is a little bit more of a silk, and then the bottom is done with more of a wool uh, knit to it. This necklace is, you know how I am about statement necklaces. I adore them. This one's done in a beautiful gray. And again, this can be worn with a t-shirt and jeans, or you can dress it up with something like this beautiful dress. Again, very work appropriate, but then still great for into the evening. Or, you know, it is wedding season this month. We've talked about that before, and this will be a great piece for a wedding. Okay, this is a question I want to ask. When you have a high neckline like that, are you still okay to add a necklace? Absolutely, and that's a great question. You just have to make sure that it is a shorter necklace. If it's too long, then it's overwhelming, and then of course it takes away from the dress. Because this one is more of a, almost like a choker style, it's a little bit higher, and, and the neckline matches the line of the necklace, then you're totally safe. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jacqueline. All right. This is one of my favorite pieces. I adore this coat. So this is more of a, almost like a pantsuit, but done in a skirt. Of course, this is the classic wool tweed look. Um, this is a double-breasted jacket. You can wear this, of course, with jeans and other fun stuff, and then we, or you can do it as a full look. If you, if you undo that for me, love, she is wearing a beautiful navy blue silk shirt. And the thing I love most about this silk shirt is that it has the bow. Everything is in the details with Janie Bryant. She does that so well, and I just adore this shirt. You can easily wear it with another high-waisted skirt. You can do it, tuck it in with like a pair of pants like I'm wearing today. And then we've done it with this really, I, I kind of like this feel because we've done it with a little bit of a booty. And I know most women, uh, when you're wearing a skirt, you tend to go with a pump because it's the easy way out. Right. This is a great alternative to that, just to kind of add a little bit more flair. And you can even add a really great um, tight too to make it more unique and more style if, to you. If you say we're allowed to do it, then we're allowed to do it. <laughs> You are allowed. allowed. You are allowed. Are allowed. <laughs> Thank you so much. And of course, we can't go without the men. Oh, uh, here's Don Draper yes. once again, <laughs> looking oh so chic in this classic trench. We've again talked about the classic trench so many times. Banana Republic does it so well. This one is no different. The color's fabulous. And uh, just the detail about this trench is what's so perfect about it. Double breasted, you can't really go wrong. Underneath, we have a 
wicked, wicked vests. And I wanted to talk about the vests quickly. So vests have really made a comeback this season with the whole vintage thing coming out. Right now is a big trend. And not enough guys wear a vest. And I'm saying to you guys out there, you really need to try a vest. I think it is so chic. It's so great for work. You can wear it out in the evening for drinks. And then we've done this beautiful pop of color with this great, mm -hmm. once again, skinny tie and a fedora. Imagine that. Love the fedora. All right, we're going to have all of our models come in now really quickly. Just get one final look. And of course, the, these items, they're out in stores. We'll be able to yes. find these styles. They, it was launched yesterday in all of the banana republics across North America. And then you can also go to bananarepublic.ca for more detail. Perfect. Erica, always a pleasure. Thanks to our models. They really do have that man-man look. We're going to take a trip now back with Sarah Freemark. She's uh, been checking things out at the Clock Museum. Sarah. Morning, folks. What you are looking at is a weight-driven clock that dates back to the 1850s roughly 1860s. I'm joined by Alan Simmons. He is the founder of the Canadian Clock Museum, which has been open since 2001. And uh, tell me a little bit about the history behind a weight-driven clock like this. These are typically some of the clocks that were brought into Canada. Mm -hmm. It was the province of Canada back then, by the way. So CW on here and Brockville's in Leeds County, yeah. Canada West. Typical.